Hey guys, just finishing up a job. We had a client ask us to, first off, take care of Wi-Fi through their house. Um, Wi-Fi coverage was very poor in certain areas. That's the main space right there, and then that's an add-on, in addition there. But more so, they wanted Wi-Fi in their garage barn also. As you can see, detached from the house. So, I'll get some uh, video and show you what we did, but this is a mesh, uh, Eero mesh Wi-Fi system um, using Spectrum as their internet provider. Um, Eero Pro 6 models, Pro 6E, um, and an outdoor Eero unit um, for their garage. We do have a wire installed from this garage into the house uh, and connected. Um, so it is hardwired into the system and it provides very good coverage in this garage and I'll show you we're just finishing up um, getting the wire and some track installed in there but I'll take you in and we'll go from there so there's our Eero Wi-Fi 7 outdoor access point which is tied into the house our cable is in that cable track yeah we could have just put it wire tied it to the wall but as you can see Everything in here, storage, that wouldn't last there forever either. And that cable track, that's on plywood or OSB board. We have that cable track screwed into that board also because, yes, we know the double-sided tape, it's, that's going to fall down soon. So we have that cable track screwed in so we don't see that happening. But there's our access point. And then the area we're looking to cover is this garage area with a wall here and we have full coverage everywhere I've walked going through this wall into this area I'll get some lights on in there and I'll show you that area we have full Wi-Fi coverage of with this one access point there okay sorry about the camera work but I'll try to zoom in here there's our access point right there and back there we're going through that wall we do have coverage over in that corner also so it is a bit omnidirectional not just one direction um, we have coverage over here now let me show you the other area all through this space other than that wall definitely it's very open pardon me as I watch where I'm walking you can see there's a few things in here. Okay, here's the other area. <clears throat> Cameras will be mounted in these corners, which can either be hardwired or work off Wi-Fi. Uh, but the goal was they wanted initially Wi-Fi coverage all of this area. And that's what we've been able to do with that Eero outdoor access point, the Wi-Fi 7, their new unit. All of this area... I will try to get a shot over there, but as you can see, back in there we've tested, all of that's good. And here I'll take some screenshots, I'll take a screenshot of my phone anyways, we'll work on that, show that we've got Wi-Fi coverage in this area, just a basic coverage and I'll do a, and check that. And I'll show you what we have in the house. All right, guys, and for reference purposes, here is the heat map that I did um, in the garage. <clears throat> now, this is just a base map for a blanket room with different rooms, but I'll show you where I was. There's the Eero unit um, that we have on the wall. That separation wall I was talking about is that right there. That's the opening right there. That's not really a wall. And then that's the rest of the wall, and this is the other half of the garage. Negative 37, these varied between negative 60 and 45. I think those were negative 60 because as soon as I was done here, I walked back here and took it right away. After about waiting 10, 20 seconds after that, those came in at negative 35 and negative 45, which would make sense. Negative 52s, and in this back area, negative 56, negative 64. So all within range of uh, good uh, coverage for that heat map All right guys, I just did a heat map analyzation and I'll put a screenshot of that 
negative 30, it's either 34, 36, close to the access point to negative, I think 60 or 64 in one back corner, which is acceptable by all means. And I'll post a screenshot of that. Now I'm headed into the house, into the basement to show you actually what we did here on a previous day. All right, we're in the basement and previously they had sitting on a stool, which might be over there, but they had their Spectrum modem and then the Spectrum router just sitting there providing Wi-Fi coverage in their house. What we did is we ran an internet line here Yes, I realize it's going under that, but I'm not going to drill through that big support beam. Or this one. Not going to do that. But up there, that goes to their cabinet uh, in their kitchen. That uh, That's where we have an access point for their first floor. It's a one-story house. Uh, no, excuse me, two-story. It's small, but that's all fine on the second story also. That's providing the main... Uh, internet for the majority of the house in this section where I'm at this line comes back here and then it's going to jump over through a hole there but it meets up with their cable line spectrum coax coming in from outside so instead of leaving the equipment <clears throat> back in that corner um, we came this way through here, up in the joists, and then come back to here, switched over to this side, through here, and into our box on the wall. Instead of putting a shelf there, there's our box where the cable box, excuse me, the cable modem is, um, our Eero router, and our PoE network switch, uh, because that access point is PoE powered, uh, so it needs to be have a PoE network switch uh, providing it power. This black line is it's outdoor rated. Uh, it is in a conduit also. This black line is the line going to outside. Whoops, got a little snag. I'll fix that. We did not run it in this parallel to the power. There we go, that's fixed, and out, sorry, fixing that line, and out it goes. There was another line, let me find that, right here, going up to their bedroom for a TV outlet. Uh, we ran that through here, and then across. That comes across from these bays, same bay and into our box, so that is hardwired. So we have TV locations hardwired um, and our access points all hardwired back to the system with our equipment box right there on the wall. Uh, but that's again going to, well, actually, <clears throat> there's the chair. <laughs> that was the chair right there, that wooden stool, where their cable modem when we first arrived and router was sitting back around this corner and we took a look at it, it was like well we're not going to leave that here you've got a new breaker box in your addition that's going to become our home location and we will wire accordingly from there so if you have other outdoor areas or indoor that you need wi-fi coverage new home renovation you're looking to get wi-fi coverage home internet throughout your house outside uh, audio wiring, um, outdoor TVs, and, and we'll be able to take care of it and get you running, get you what you need. And I will see you on the next one.